Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni. Cass is here helping me, and we're going to be showing you a diagnostic exercise, um, the leg float exercise, that is a really nice one to do with your clients who are just beginning with you or those clients that you suspect um, aren't holding as much stability and deep system work as you would like, um, and or those clients that you know have a diastasis rectus abdominis, um, pelvic girdle pain, incontinence, that sort of thing. So at first, Cass is an instructor, so she's has lots of awareness about her body. But I'm, I'm asking her to try to not correct herself and do an automatic leg float into tabletop. And what we're gonna be looking at here is what happens in a natural way to the pelvis, the lumbar spine, the ribs, as someone floats their leg up into tabletop and floats it down. And then from there, we try to add support tools for the client to help them to create more of that deep system awareness, to create more tensioning in their, their um, deep body so that the pelvis and the lumbar spine can really stay in a neutral, easy, stable position as we do something like a leg movement on that, that stable body. All right. So Cass isn't gonna try to correct herself and um, I'm gonna step away a little bit. And on her exhale, just float one leg up into tabletop. Good, and then float the leg back down. Great, yep, and then all the way back down and then you can go to the other side. We'll look at that. Good, and all the way back down. All right, so she was really playing the part very well. She gave us a lot to, to work with here. So we saw a lot of you know losing the belly contraction, lumbar spine going, pelvis rocking, and this is what we see with a lot of our clients coming through the door, so that was great. So your clients coming through the door, they don't have usually any knowledge of what the deep system even is or how to contact it. So the first tools, and one of which we've already done, is we've given her a little incline pillow, which a lot of your clients will need, so that they can start to set the bones in the right place. So we give them a, a platform of support with their skeleton so that they can actually feel the cue of keeping your neutral curves anchored. It's not enough to just say it verbally. We have to really give the client support. So you can put something behind their head. Someone may need something at their lower back, at their tailbone. And sometimes just with that support, it'll make a huge difference in the stability of the pelvis. Um, so don't be afraid to use the, the propping to try to create an easier, more elongated, more stable system in the spine and the pelvis so that that can be another virtual cure for your client. You don't have to be the only teacher. Their environment can also be their teacher to, to really help them start to figure out, well, how do I move my leg without moving my spine or my pelvis? And that is like a paradigm shift they, you know, at first they won't even understand that. So that's why it's, it's good to give them all these support tools as well as a lot of other cueing so they can help to find this. We're gonna be doing some other videos to add on to this, but this is my, my first tip. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.